thousands are without power and tropical cyclone Alfred is moving slowly towards the coast. Right now the system is sitting about 195 kilometres east of Brisbane and 180 kilometres northeast of the Gold Coast. It will make landfall in the next 24 hours. Millions are in the eye of the storm. They're being told to stay home. Imagine waking up to a world completely changed overnight. The coastline of America, once familiar and steady, now fractured, reshaped, and unrecognizable. Entire cities swallowed by the ocean, highways broken like fragile glass, and historic landmarks reduced to nothing but rubble. The devastation is unimaginable, leaving scientists scrambling for answers. Was it a massive underwater landslide? A long dormant fault suddenly awakening? Or is there something even more mysterious lurking beneath the waves? What could cause such a sudden and catastrophic transformation of the land we thought was stable? Geologists and seismologists are racing against time to analyze the clues left behind. Satellite images reveal vast sections of land missing, entire neighborhoods consumed by the sea. Witnesses describe hearing a deep, thunderous roar just before the ground beneath them gave way. Some speculate that an unprecedented seismic event triggered a chain reaction, while others point to climate change accelerating coastal erosion and destabilizing the very foundation of the land. One of the prime suspects in this disaster is the Cascadia Subduction Zone, an immense fault line stretching from Northern California to British Columbia. Scientists have long warned that this fault capable of producing earthquakes of magnitude 9.0 or higher is overdue for a rupture. Could this be the moment they feared? Or is there another, lesser known geological force at play? In the wake of this catastrophe, millions are displaced, searching for answers and struggling to rebuild. Emergency response teams work tirelessly, but the sheer scale of the destruction makes recovery daunting. What does this mean? For other coastal regions? Could this disaster be a warning sign for more to come? In this video, we dive deep into the science behind this shocking event and explore what it means for the future of America's coastline. Could this happen again? And if so, are we prepared? Stay with us as we uncover the chilling truth behind one of the most mysterious geological phenomena of our time, the awakening of the Cascadia subduction zone. For centuries, geologists have warned about the looming danger of the Cascadia subduction zone. This massive fault line stretches from Northern California to Vancouver and has the potential to unleash one of the most powerful earthquakes in North America. But in early 2025, those warnings became a terrifying reality. A rupture along the subduction zone sent shockwaves along the entire Pacific Northwest, triggering a magnitude 9.2 earthquake. This event wasn't just another tremor, it was the long-feared megathrust earthquake, powerful enough to reshape the coastline permanently. But what made it so devastating? Unlike other earthquakes, which typically last a few seconds to a minute, this rupture continued for over five minutes, tearing apart the seafloor and causing rapid subsidence of coastal regions. Cities like Seattle and Portland experienced violent shaking, but the true destruction came from the massive tsunami that followed. Waves as high as 30 meters crashed into coastal towns within minutes, wiping away entire neighborhoods. The energy released by the quake was equivalent to hundreds of atomic bombs, leaving a path of devastation in its wake. The Pacific Northwest had long been warned about the possibility of such an event. Scientists had studied the region's seismic history and found evidence of a similar earthquake in 1700, which sent a tsunami across the Pacific to Japan. In the years leading up to the 2025 rupture, there had been increasing signs of strain buildup along the fault, including minor tremors and unusual patterns of land deformation. Despite these warning signs, the sudden onset of the quake left little time for residents to react. Critical infrastructure was severely damaged. Bridges collapsed, highways cracked open, and entire neighborhoods were left in ruins. 
power grids failed, leaving millions without electricity, and emergency responders struggled to reach affected areas. The economic impact was catastrophic, with estimates suggesting losses in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Hospitals overflowed with casualties, and many were forced to evacuate due to structural damage. The death toll climbed rapidly as rescue efforts were hampered by the destruction. Could this have been predicted? Experts argue that while they knew it was inevitable, the precise timing was impossible to determine. The real question is, could we have done more to prepare for this disaster? Some point to Japan's extensive earthquake and tsunami preparedness measures as an example of what could have mitigated the damage. While some cities had implemented stricter building codes and tsunami evacuation plans, many areas remained vulnerable due to aging infrastructure and lack of public awareness. In the aftermath, the focus shifted to rebuilding and improving future resilience. Government agencies and scientific organizations emphasized the need for improved early warning systems, seismic retrofitting of older building, and community preparedness initiatives. The Cascadia event served as a wake-up call, highlighting the urgent need for investment in disaster mitigation. The 2025 Cascadia Megathrust earthquake will be remembered as one of the most devastating natural disasters in North American history. While the scars it left behind will take decades to heal, may ultimately help protect future generations from similar devastation. The question remains, will we take these lessons to heart or will history repeat itself? The disappearance of barrier islands. The first sign that something was terribly wrong came when satellite images revealed that entire barrier islands off the East Coast had vanished. Places like North Carolina's Outer Banks, once thriving tourist destination, were gone. What could cause islands to disappear overnight? Scientists now believe that a combination of rising sea levels, increasing storm intensity, and the weakening of underlying sediments contributed to the sudden collapse of these land masses. But what if this is just the beginning? Barrier islands serve as natural buffers, absorbing the impact of hurricanes and storm surges. Without them, coastal cities like Miami, Charleston, and New York become even more vulnerable. Could America's major cities be the next to fall victim to the ocean's relentless advance? Researchers analyzing satellite data and geological samples suggest that these islands were already eroding at an alarming rate due to climate change. Warmer ocean temperatures have intensified storms, while melting polar ice caps and thermal expansion have accelerated sea level rise. The shifting of ocean currents and the depletion of sand due to human intervention, such as dredging and coastal development, may have further weakened these fragile landforms. Some geologists propose that an underwater landslide or a sudden extreme storm event may have triggered the island's collapse. Unlike the slow, observable erosion that has been documented for years, this event appeared to be rapid and catastrophic. Could this mean that other barrier islands are at risk of vanishing just as suddenly? The loss of these islands isn't just a geographical concern. It has major implications for human population. Barrier islands act as nature's first line of defense against storm surges, high winds, and flooding. Without them, coastal cities will experience stronger and more frequent flooding events leading to billions of dollars in damages. Miami, for example, is already grappling with nuisance flooding during high tides. Without its protective offshore islands, storm surges could reach deeper into the city, overwhelming infrastructure. Charleston and New York, both vulnerable to rising waters, may face similar risks. The disappearance of these islands could be a harbinger of what's to come if climate change continues unchecked. Some scientists believe that large-scale engineering projects, such as artificial reef systems or sand replenishment, could help protect remaining islands and coastlines. Others argue that relocating populations away from vulnerable coastal areas might be the only sustainable solution in the long run. Regardless of the approach, one thing is clear. The vanishing of barrier islands is not an isolated incident. It is a warning sign that the ocean's relentless advance may soon reshape the very map of the United States. The question is, how much time do we have left before more land disappears beneath the waves?
the Gulf Coast cracks open. While the Pacific Northwest was grappling with its own catastrophe, an equally disturbing event was unfolding along the Gulf Coast. Reports of massive fissures opening up in the ground surfaced from Texas to Louisiana. Highways split apart, entire neighborhoods were swallowed by the earth, and emergency responders struggled to keep up with the widespread destruction. The phenomenon was unlike anything seen before in the region, raising alarm among scientists and government officials alike. Seismologists now suggest that underground salt domes, which have supported the land for millions of years, are beginning to collapse. These formations, weakened by decades of oil and gas extraction, are giving way, causing vast portions of the coastline to sink. The problem is particularly severe in areas where drilling and fracking have intensified, disturbing the fragile underground structures that act as natural buffers. In some places, the sinking is gradual, leading to subsidence over years, but in others, entire stretches of land have vanished overnight. One of the most alarming examples of this occurred near Lake Charles, Louisiana, where a deep chasm appeared overnight, swallowing vehicles and homes in its path. Residents described the eerie sound of the ground cracking apart, followed by violent tremors that lasted for hours. The event bore a striking resemblance to past incidents, such as the infamous Bayou Corn Sinkhole, which formed in 2012 when a salt dome cavern collapsed. However, the recent fissures appear to be occurring on a much larger scale, raising questions about whether this is a localized issue or part of a larger geological shift. But is human activity entirely to blame, or is there something even more alarming happening beneath our feet? The Gulf of Mexico has long been home to hidden fault lines, many of which remain poorly studied due to the thick layers of sediment that obscure them. Some geologists believe that the region is experiencing a form of tectonic adjustment that has been building for centuries, possibly triggered by a combination of natural and man-made factors. Others fear that these collapses could be precursors to something far worse, an awakening of a massive, undiscovered fault system that could rival the New Madrid seismic zone in terms of potential destruction. If this theory proves true, the implications could be devastating. Cities like Houston, New Orleans, and Mobile, already vulnerable to hurricanes and rising sea level, would face an unprecedented threat from below. A large-scale seismic event in the Gulf could trigger tsunamis, liquefaction of soil, and widespread infrastructure failure. Scientists are now racing against time to determine whether these recent fissures are isolated events or the first warning signs of an impending catastrophe. The Atlantic seafloor rises. In an unexpected twist, researchers studying the Atlantic Ocean have made a baffling discovery. Instead of land sinking, as commonly observed in many parts of the world, sections of the ocean floor appear to be rising. This phenomenon challenges conventional geological understanding and raises critical questions about the underlying causes and potential consequences. Geological surveys suggest that a massive plume of magma is pushing upward from beneath the Earth's crust. This plume appears to be originating from the mantle, exerting pressure on the oceanic lithosphere and forcing sections of the seafloor to uplift. The presence of such a plume indicates increased volcanic activity beneath the Atlantic, which could lead to the formation of new underwater volcanoes. Over extended geological periods, this activity might even contribute to the emergence of new islands or significant alterations in the ocean's topography. However, there's a darker side to this discovery. A rising seafloor means the displacement of vast amounts of ocean water, which could lead to more frequent and severe tsunamis along the east coast of North America. As the ocean floor elevates, even marginal shifts in water level could trigger drastic changes in coastal flooding pattern. Cities such as Boston, New York, and Washington, D.C., already vulnerable, to rising sea levels due to climate change may face an even more dire future where catastrophic flooding events become the new normal. Furthermore, the rising seafloor could impact global ocean currents. The Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, which regulates climate patterns by distributing warm 
and cold water masses across the globe might be disrupted by these geological changes. Such disruptions could have profound effects on weather pattern, potentially intensifying hurricanes, altering precipitation cycle, and exacerbating climate extreme. Could this be the beginning of a new age of geological upheaval? Scientists are racing to understand the full implications of this unexpected event. If the seafloor continues to rise, humanity may need to reconsider coastal infrastructure, emergency preparedness, and long-term climate adaptation strategies. For now, the world watches as the Atlantic undergoes an extraordinary transformation, one that could reshape coastlines, economies, and lives for generations to come. The mystery of the California sinkhole, as if the West Coast hadn't suffered enough. Another terrifying event captured headlines in 2025. Entire neighborhoods in Los Angeles and San Francisco began collapsing into massive sinkholes, some as deep as 100 feet. What began as isolated incidents quickly turned into a widespread crisis with new sinkholes appearing in unexpected locations across California, swallowing cars, homes, and entire streets in a matter of minutes. Scientists quickly pointed to a combination of groundwater depletion, tectonic movement, and weakening bedrock. California has long been plagued by issues of land subsidence, primarily due to overextraction of groundwater, which has caused gradual sinking in some regions. But what puzzled researchers the most was the speed at which these sinkholes form. Normally, land subsidence happens over decades. Yet in these cases, entire blocks disappeared within hours. The suddenness of these collapses raised concerns about a previously unknown or underestimated geological factor at play. Geologists and emergency response teams rushed to investigate the underlying cause. Satellite imagery and ground-penetrating radar revealed that vast underground caverns had formed beneath urban areas, eroded by centuries of water movement and seismic activity. Some of these voids were larger than football fields, their roofs fragile and prone to sudden failure. This raised an alarming question. Was this a localized event, or could California be facing a much larger structural collapse? Further analysis indicated that recent heavy rain, combined with years of prolonged drought, had exacerbated the problem. The sudden influx of water had rapidly dissolved fragile limestone and sandstone layers beneath the surface, leading to catastrophic collapses. Some experts now warn that these underground voids, acting as ticking time bomb, could unleash even greater devastation in the future. If left unchecked, they could threaten critical infrastructure, from highways and bridges to power grids and water supply systems. Beyond natural causes, some scientists also speculated that human activity had accelerated the crisis. Decades of unchecked urban expansion, construction projects that failed to account for subsurface weaknesses, and excessive drilling had weakened the structural integrity of the land. As officials scrambled to assess the damage, the question remained, how many more sinkholes were waiting to open up beneath California's busiest cities? The race was on to find solutions before the next major collapse changed the landscape forever. The impact on wildlife and ecosystem. It's not just human communities that have been affected by these dramatic changes. Entire ecosystems are struggling to adapt to the new landscape. In Florida, rising ocean temperatures and shifting coastlines have driven manatees and other marine life into unfamiliar waters. In Alaska, the sudden loss of ice shelves has forced polar bears to migrate further inland, bringing them into closer contact with human populations. And in the Gulf of Mexico, deep sea creatures that once thrived in stable conditions are now facing a world turned upside down. What happens when an entire food chain is disrupted? The effects of these geological shifts could ripple through nature in ways we have yet to fully understand. Could we be witnessing the beginning of an ecological crisis as well? These shocking events serve as a powerful reminder that Earth is never truly at rest. Beneath our feet, the planet is constantly shifting, reshaping, and evolving in ways that we can barely comprehend. While scientists work tirelessly to predict and mitigate these disasters, the reality is that nature will always find ways to surprise us. What do you think? Could these changes signal an even larger catastrophe on the horizon? Or is this just another chapter 
in Earth's ever-changing story? Let us know in the comments below. Stay curious, and who knows what America's coastlines will reveal next. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on more amazing discoveries and hidden wonders from around the world. Hit the bell icon so you won't miss our next adventure.